People of Postman, if you see this, please don't make scrollers inside scrollers. It's fairly annoying when you have a small screen like mine. Because notice here, I've experienced a few times where people now do a post and they can't find the body anywhere. It's gone, right? No, it's actually not gone. It's just you have to scroll up inside the scroll. Not here. That's not going to help. But up here. Then you'll actually see that the body is up here and you just have... This is like the response and this is like the request area. So if the body is gone, it's because you have to scroll up in the application because we have a scroll bar here and a scroll bar here. Sorry about that. But I think the Postman guys, they can fix that at some point. If not, it's still a great tool. It's just a bit annoying. But now I want to do a put request. And I just want to show you guys when I do the put here, Again, I go into body and I select raw and I select JSON just like before. But notice, as soon as I select JSON, I didn't tell you this before, a new header actually pops up. Now, this is another thing we send to the backend and we say to the backend, I'm going to send you the content in the body is going to be application JSON. So when we send something from here to here, the REST API right now expects it to be JSON. We did that later, uh, earlier, we made it into JSON both ways. So it expects to get some JSON. So what we're doing with that header is just in the request we send over here, we just say, and by the way, the things we're getting is actually JSON. So that's all we do there. So as soon as you set put and you decide to say JSON application here, it actually adds the header for you, just so you know. So you could put this in manually in an HTTP request as well. Okay, so what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna figure out who do we actually want to update. And inside the update one, again, we'll have to have a look here inside our beautiful helper page it says and put you have to add an id in the end with the actual guy you want to update right let's just go into this one just to show you so there we go and it could look something like this because you need to the, the thing you send over you need to add the id at least okay so let's go back to our code that means that i want to update the one with id of five i remember that was the bird and now because it's a number i don't put in the quotation marks here i just add the number five but i also have to add the id up here why? If you guys remember in the controller, if we did a put request here, we would send in the ID and that would be inside the, the parameter list, but we'd also have to send in the ID actually uh, inside the actual object because we would test them and send back a bad request if they did not match. Let's try and see if that is true. I'm going to do an update here. Instead of bird, I want to be called bird22. Let me just remove the created time here and see what happens. I'll do a send and let's see what we get back. Give it a second. Get back an error. Hmm, why, why, why? Let's try and do an undo, up, an undo here just to get the date back. It's because it actually tries to also add the date. And it, if you don't have a date, your database will explode. So let's try and do a send again with the actual date. We don't get a reply back this time, and I think that's a good thing. Let's try and do the get of all the wishes again. There we go. Let's try and see if it's called bird22 now. It is. So it actually worked. Let's just try and have a look again at what we actually did and why the date is required. Well, inside an SQL database, we do not allow you to send in a date that is before the year 1913. I think that's the case. If not, yell at me at some point. But you don't have to send, you, you cannot send in a date before that. So let's just remove the date again and let's see what we actually send to the database. I'll put in a breakpoint inside this wish right here and let's just try and do the postman send again. Notice the reason I'm showing this is a, it's the, this is a great way for you to test your actual software. So I should hit the breakpoint, and of course I don't because I put the breakpoint in the wrong place. Let me just try once more. I'll do a send. I hit the breakpoint, and let's just have a look at what we actually send to the backend. Because this wish right here is actually a replication of the JSON object you sent. And notice we get a created date that is actually the year 0001, and that is before 1913. So that's why the database crashes, and that's why you get a reply back saying something with, uh, date time is wrong. So if you read the entire request information, you'll see there's something with date time wrong in there. Let's try and have a look here. Yada, 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 entry, something, something, updated, uh, there it is. The conversion of date time, date uh, time data resulted in an out of range value. That's the database saying you're not allowed to put in that earlier year. So you can't update without the date. So you have to put in all the fields that you feel you want to update at least, right? Before you make the update. Now let's make it 33. And let's just remove this ID right here just to prove that as well. Doing a send again. Now you'll get another request back. Oh, I'm hitting the breakpoint. I'll do continue. And let's see what we get back. It IDs did not match. What? Why did that get back? Because we added that inside our controller. If the wish ID is not the same as the ID in the URL, you get it. IDs did not match. 
Why is that important? Well, that makes sense because I want to test the object I send into update is actually the same that I want to update. So I don't update a wrong object. So it's just an extra security. So that's it. Let's just uh, do the right update here and just see that everything runs. I'll do the get request of all the wishes when it's done. Of course, I need to remove the breakpoint again and just continue. And um, yeah, we get the thing is okay. We get a get request here to read all the wishes or there's the one we want to read. We get 33 back. Everything is running. Happy days. So that's all for this lesson with the update. I know it was a bit long, but I wanted to show you guys just how you can also test why it actually fails using the breakpoints. So see you in the next lesson where we do the delete and then we got the full CRUD set up. Have fun.